Hey, this is Preacher. Uh, Combat Veteran Motorcycle Association. You rock. Hey, I just want to talk about uh, something that's uh, dear to my heart. Church. And the motorcycle community. Um, I can't tell you two better institutions than God's real church and the motorcycle community. People in the motorcycle community are as buried as everybody else in every other segment of life. But I will tell you this, you will not find per capita a better bunch of people than those who ride a motorcycle. And why? Well, first of all, we love freedom. It's part of the mantra of being a biker. Uh, second thing is, most of us are very conservative in our values. We believe in, in, in loving deeply, being passionate about what we love, about what we like, um, sticking to what is right and what is wrong. I know we got some people out there with bad raps. Uh, you got some 1% clubs out there that got that image, that chip on their shoulder, that diamond might as well be a chip. Um, but the bottom line is, I know a lot of people in those one percenters that are good, solid human beings. Give the shirt off your back, as long as it don't have a patch on it. So, in and of that, riding with a one percent don't make you bad people. There's some bad elements in, 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 across the board. In some RCs, MCs, MAs, MMs, all those factions have some bad apples. But uh, we root the bad apples out best we can because that's not who we are. That's not who we want to be looked at as. But so let's let's get dig into this. The comparison is between the motorcycle community and the church community. We're talking about the average. We're not talking about every church. We're not talking about every motorcycle organization. We're talking about the average. The average group of bikers who have patched up either under a club, um, a riding club, a association, or a ministry, these bikers, they, uh, they're tight. They're tight. They got a philosophy. You mess with the one, you mess with us all. They got terms like, I got your six, meaning I got your back. I mean, they, they stand together. They're unified. They're going to fight together. They're going to go down together. You're going to rise up together. They ride together. That's the way of life in the uh, motorcycle world, the motorcycle culture. So how do we compare that to the church? The church can learn a lot from these motorcycle organizations. A lot about how to be inclusive, but yet be separate and, and segregated from the rest of the populace. You know, Peter said that we are supposed to be a peculiar people, a chosen generation. We're not supposed to be like every other person out there we are supposed to be men and women of faith that bond together with our brothers and sisters and we make a difference and see what we got half of us don't even know our brothers and sisters we sit in the same church and don't know where brother such and such even lives don't know where he works don't know what his kids names are don't know what his birthday is unless it's in a bulletin I'm telling you, we don't know one another. And there's so much strife and chaos going on. Well, we ain't going to invite them at our house. His wife's way too pretty. And my wife be all up in jealousy if, if that woman showed up in my house and said anything out of line. Lord, Lord, we'd be in trouble if she came up and hugged me. Because then my wife may just want to shoot somebody. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? 
that uh, we ought to be so tight in the church that the devil can't get in. It's like Red Rover, Red Rover, send somebody over. You know, when that person comes running at our line, ain't gonna make it through because we're tight. That's the way it should be. That's the way the MC world operates. You have to understand motorcycle communities are tight. It's the way they, 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 they separated themselves. It's a subculture. And I'm saying to you, church ought to be the same way. We ought to have our own subculture. We ought to be so tight that when the enemy comes against us, our brothers and sisters got our back. He can't get through because even if I didn't know he's coming, I didn't see the attack coming. There's somebody holding me up. Somebody got my back. Somebody's in prayer in the recent hours on my behalf. Hey, that's fact. That's the way we need to be. And if we are not so, then we need to fix this stuff because life in the church house ought to be better than the life on the road. Just saying.